everybody. Welcome to today's poetry reading. I have two and probably the last of the week. I hope you like it. It is called 40. Another year has come to pass. I did, however, lose a good chunk of my ass. <laughs> I made enough money to make my bills and had just enough left for a couple thrills. I held down my home. I kept a job. With great effort, I tried to smile instead of sob. When things got hard or went wrong, I kept my head down and just moved along. I spent another year single because I have yet to feel love tingles. I still feel I'm missing out on motherdom, but instead of sad, I'm just viewing it as more room to have fun. I do my best to keep up hope that I'll meet a great man and he'll hit all the right notes. His life will become his wife. But I do not sit and wait. I do not feel the need to go on many dates. I'm looking for quality, for fireworks. I'm not interested in sexy stares and flirts. I want to know how their heart works. So I talk to my fellows and I keep it chill and mellow. I'm focused on my destiny, not on whom has not met me. I'm building up my career instead of chasing cheers. I stay in to work on myself and to get in better health. I lost a car and now walk to travel. I hit the gravel when I need or when I work no matter what part of me hurts. I did it before, I'll do it again. It's merely a means to an end. I'll walk the rest of my ass off and cut down on my living costs. I lost two sweet cats. They had a little mind lapse, got lost and lost their way. I'm hoping they found a nice place to stay. Every night for them I pray that we cross paths again someday. I learned I'm invisible to credit history. How I got to 40 with no credit could be a giant mystery. I just went about it old school and didn't know paying in cash was no longer cool. So like a young child, I'm growing so I can start showing that I exist so I can get on the approved list. I found out friends are hard to come by, but I'm grateful for mine. They help me get by and pass the time. I learned that family stands and helps you alter your plans. They also expand and give you more people to love that remind us of loved ones from above. I bought more outfits, also threw a few fits, mostly about bullshit or cause I took a hit to the pride or the wallet. But when there was a problem, I solved it. I had some health scares and I got to see all those who really cared, who stood by me. If I needed them, they were there. I learned I can do hard things and I can get my own bling. I learned I have skills I never knew, ones I plan to use, to get me up and out of struggle, to build a palace from this rubble. I was worried about 40, but since it's upon me shortly, I'm deciding to embrace the new decade and hope my youthful spirit never fades. I hope this is the best decade of my life. I hope I become a wife and finally have a true partner in life. I hope my success helps me to be even more blessed. No matter what comes next, no matter the hardship or test, I'll take a deep breath and bear, and bear it. <laughs> and when I learn from it, I'll share it. Maybe it will help you bear it too. Onward I go, seeds to reap and sow. I'm ready for a fresh start 
and to show this world my heart. I'll never play a part. I'm real and upfront from the start. No matter my age, that will never change. I'm a free spirit, thankful to be here. Now everybody lift up your beers. Here's to 40. Cheers! I hope you liked it. <laughs> See you all again soon. Um, and if you're interested, my birthday is August 25th. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do for myself or for this channel. I'm just kind of winging it. I'm not ready for 40. I don't know what to do. I'm in a, a crisis. I'm not afraid to admit it, but I'm writing through it. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. See you again soon. Bye!